Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make easy homemade crepes. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I have an easy breakfast option for you. Today we're going to be making crepes, which are essentially really flat, really thin pancakes. They might seem a little fancy and intimidating, but I'm going to show you exactly how easy they are, so let's get to it. Now, this recipe can be made in either a blender or just in a mixing bowl. If you're making it in a blender, you'll throw all the ingredients together, blend them until smooth, and that's all you have to do. We are going to be showing you, or I'm going to be showing you today, how to make these in a mixing bowl, since that takes just a little bit more effort. Now, into your bowl, you are going to add one cup of all-purpose flour. We'll also be adding a fourth teaspoon of salt, and I'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of granulated sugar. I'm going to be making sweet crepes today, but if you want to make savory crepes, just leave out the sugar. Now you're going to need a whisk, and we're going to whisk together our dry ingredients until they're nice and smooth. Sometimes your flour can have some lumps in it. You want to use your whisk to break those up. Now instead of using a whisk, you could sift everything together. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a well in our dry ingredients. And all this means is we're just going to kind of make a crater using a spoon. And in this well is where we're going to combine our wet ingredients. I like using this method because it means we only have to dirty one bowl instead of two. So we're going to start by adding our milk. I am going to be using a total of one and one fourth cups of milk for this recipe. But for now, we're only going to pour about one half cup into our well. And you can just eyeball this. We're also going to be adding two large eggs. And since I'm making sweet crepes, we're also going to add 3 fourths teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you're making savory crepes, just leave this out. Now grab your whisk and we're just going to whisk together our wet ingredients and gradually begin to incorporate the dry ingredients and just continue to whisk until everything is nice and smooth. Need these eggs to break up. There we go, once I have my eggs, nicely scrambled, that's when I begin incorporating the dry ingredients. Now, unlike with my pancake batter, where it's okay if you have some lumps, you really wanna to try to make this as smooth as possible. This is why a blender works really well for this recipe, because you just toss all the ingredients together and then you just blend everything until there are no lumps remaining. So now that this is nice and smooth, we are going to add in the remainder of our milk. And we're also going to be adding two tablespoons of butter that we've melted and let cool a little bit so it's not scorching hot. And I'm actually going to pour this butter into the mixture while whisking. Use my baby spatula to get all of that butter in there. You know me, I don't like to waste any butter. We'll whisk everything together until it's completely combined. Adding the milk and butter in parts like this just helps to guarantee that we have a nice smooth batter instead of one that's lumpy and has flour lumps in it. You may notice a few pieces of butter that may have solidified. If it's just a little bit, that's completely fine. Don't worry about it. Now, the hardest part about making crepes is we have to let this batter rest. You're going to cover it and you're going to do this whether you've made it in a mixing bowl, using a whisk, or if you've done it in a blender, we're going to cover it and we're going to put it in our fridge for at least an hour. Resting our crepe batter like this not only helps our ingredients to better combine, it also helps any bubbles that are in our batter to rise to the top and to escape. And this helps keep our crepes from tearing when we go to cook them. As you probably know, crepes are really thin, so tearing can be a problem with them. So once your crepe batter has rested for at least an hour, we are going to go ahead and grab our skillet. Now I highly, highly recommend using a non-stick skillet for this recipe. Otherwise, no matter how much you grease the pan, the crepes really tend to stick and tear. So if you have a non-stick skillet, use it. We're going to place this on our stovetop and set the heat to medium. Now, before you add your crepe batter, you want the pan to be nice and warm. So usually to make sure that the pan is ready for my batter, I'll just hover my hand a couple inches over the pan. And if I can feel the heat radiating off of the pan, I know it's ready. Still, before we add our crepe batter, I like to brush the pan with a little bit of butter. You can use oil instead, canola oil or vegetable oil. We'll let that butter melt for just a second and then we'll add our crepe batter. So you'll want to add about a scant 1 4th cup of batter into this into the skillet, and I just like to use an ice cream scoop to make this pretty easy. And before you add the cake batter, you will remove the skillet from the heat, add your batter, 
and then just tilt and swirl the pan so that the batter spreads evenly over the skillet. And then we'll return it to our heat. So cook your crepe for about 45 seconds or until the top begins to look dry and the edges look set. Once your crepe is ready, you can use a spatula or if you have a crepe turner, you could use that. It's a perfect opportunity to use that. And we'll just carefully flip our crepe. Now we'll just cook our crepe on the other side until it begins to turn a nice pale golden brown, which is about another 30 to 45 seconds. Once it's cooked, we can transfer this to a plate. So once you've made your crepes, you can fill them with whatever you want. Since I made sweet crepes today, I am going to be filling mine with some Nutella and some strawberries, and I'm just gonna be rolling them up. And I warmed the Nutella up a little bit just to make it easy to spread. I also love filling crepes with my homemade whipped cream, and I'll leave a link to that uh, below the recipe. Then we'll add some strawberries. And just roll up your crepe. And that is how you make super easy crepes. Today I made sweet crepes, but as I mentioned, you can absolutely make these savory instead. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this super simple recipe. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. These are so nice and thin.